Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Algorithm Mind. My name is Asan Khurram and in this channel I teach programming skills in Python, MATLAB or R programming. I also teach theoretical concepts as well as practical programming skills in data analysis, statistical analysis or data science. So if you are a person who wants to learn Python from beginning or you are a person who wants to switch his career into data science, I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon button. Uh, I started posting videos about uh, statistical analysis in Python. This is where I actually teach statistical concepts and how we can actually uh, implement those uh, statistical concepts in Python. So today let us just discuss about the uh, the probability. So this uh, topic is all about introduction to probability and by using Python uh, to in order to calculate the probability. So what is actually probability? So probability is a foundational concept in statistics that quantifies uncertainty. Like uh, it measures the likelihood of an event occurring within a given context or frame. So what is the probability or what is the likelihood of an event occurring in a given uh, context or framework? Probability is expressed as a value between 0 and 1 where 0 indicates it's impossible to occur and 1 indicates it certainly will occur. So 0 means it's impossible to occur and 1 indicates certainty that it will occur. So understanding probability enables us to make informed decisions in uncertain situations ranging from weather forecast to financial investments. So we are going to discuss about some of the generic notation that we are going to use in uh, probability or statistical analysis. So, the, so first of all is the sensible space, the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. So this is called sample space. So what do I mean by the set of all possible outcomes for, for an experiment? Let's consider an experiment that you toss a coin. You can either have a head or you can also have a tail. So what are the two, all possible outcomes for this experiment or this uh, uh, test? is that we can either have a, a tail or we can either have a head. So it is a set of all possible outcomes of our an experiment. In that case, we have two values, head and tail is the set of all possible outcomes. Then we have an event A, a subset of sample space representing a particular outcome or a collection of outcomes of interest. So just for as I have displayed, I just I have mentioned an example of tossing a coin. So it is a subset of a sample space representing a particular outcome or a collection of outcome of interest. So an event A could be represent like, okay, we have a head and even B could be represented as we have a tail. So that's what we do mean by event. So probability of an event P A, the likelihood of an event A occurring expressed as numerical values between zero and one. So later on this, uh, later on in this tutorial, I will actually use Python programming to calculate the probabilities and uh, then you will be able, more able to grab the concept more accurately. Then we have intersection, the set of outcomes that are common to both events A and B. And then we have union, A union B, the set of outcomes that belong to either event A or event B or both. Then we have like some basic probability rules like rule of addition, rule of multiplication and the complement rule which states that the probability of a complement of a, a complement of a event A that even not occurring is equal to one minus the probability of event A occurring. So what is the probability of that a specific event might not occur or could, will not occur? It is equal to 1 minus probability of event A occurring. So let's just discuss our example tossing a coin head and tails. So there, what are the sample case space in this case? Uh, it's uh, head and tail, two values. Head and tail is the sample space. Consider a fair coin toss with outcomes head and tails event A getting head so we have like an event A that we are getting a head then we have an event B that we are getting tail each outcome has an equal probability of 0.5 it means that when we have sample space of 2 then the probability of any specific event A occurring or probability of specific event B occurring is 0 0.5 using the basic rules of probability we can calculate the probabilities of event A and B and their intersection and their union and this is what we are actually going to use or do in our Python project here. So you have this uh, 
in order to uh, do calculate the probabilities we are going to create a list and i'm going to use a, a library if in that case i'm going to use numpy library so we are going to import numpy library by using this python statement where we imp use import numpy as np whereas np is an alias that whenever we actually want to call uh, numpy library we are going to call it by np instead of actually writing the whole name numpy then we are going to define our sample space uh, if you recall that i told you a sample space is the uh, maximum possible outcomes uh, what are the possible all possible outcomes the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment in crossing a twine the all possible uh, outcomes are either head or tail so we have two values we have declared a list by initializing a variable sample space then we are equating value a list of uh, 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 string or characters here h and t then we are going to define events for event day we define that we getting heads and uh, we have an event day with the, where we actually get heads when we toss the coin then we have an event b the b and b is such that we are either getting heads or tail so it's uh, like uh, we have the possibility of acting both uh, events like we are either getting heads or we are getting tail so now in order to calculate the probability what we are going to do we are going to calculate its length and then uh, divide by its length values for example in order to calculate the probability of a what we are going to do we are going to calculate the how many values are currently present within that event for example length length is in python used to calculate the number of elements within a list so we have using this function length and then we passing the input argument event a then we are dividing by length sample space because uh, we will divide by total uh, all possible occurrences or uh, then the which is equal to the sample space uh, number of sample space then we have like length and then we pass the input argument sample space this is how we can actually calculate uh, probability of event a occurring given we have a sample space h and t in the same way we will calculate the probability of event b occurring okay so what is the uh, what is the event b we can either have heads and we can either have tails so we will calculate its uh, length or number of elements which is uh, calculated by length function and then divided by length sample space <coughs> So that's how you can actually calculate the probability of A, event A, or probability of event B occurring. Once we have calculated the probability of event A occurring and the probability of event B occurring, we can further expand our calculation and uh, we can actually calculate uh, what is the probability of uh, both events occurring together. And that probability can be calculated by multiplying probability of A with probability of B and they, with the condition that these two events are independent of each other and later on we can also calculate what is the probability of either event a occurring or either event b occurring or both this can be actually calculated by using addition rule v which is equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a and b occurring together and finally we have uh, the probability of complement that is what is the probability of event a not occurring that is equal to 1 minus the probability of event a occurring so once i have done those calculations now i'm going to print those values in this uh, uh, block of code here yeah, you can see uh, we have like a prints function then we are printing two input or we are giving two input argument as the print the values so we have probability of getting heads A, probability of getting heads or tail B, probability of getting heads and tails A, B, when uh, both events are coming together. What is the probability of getting heads or tail uh, using addition rule? Then we have probability of not getting heads, which is known as A complement. So when we run that, we can see that what the probability of actually getting a head is 0 0.5 and the probability of getting heads or tail is equal to 1 uh, when you know that in our, as our sample space was of length 2 elements heads and tail so we and the probability of getting heads or tail has 2 the, the events has 2 elements so that's why we get uh, 1 which is a most certain value in probability then we have like probability of getting heads and tail 
टू गैदर इवेंट दैन इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एंड देन वी हैव द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग हेड्स और टेल यूजिंग एडिशन रूल विच इज अगेन वन इक्वल टू वन बिकॉज वी नो दैट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग हेड्स और टेल हैज अ लेंथ ऑफ हॉ टू एलिमेंट्स हेड्स एंड टेल एंड सो ऑन नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन एंड कंसिडर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रोलिंग अ डाइस यू यू ऑलरेडी हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट वेन यू रोल अ डाइस दे आर सिक्स पॉसिबल आउटकम्स दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली गेट आउट ऑफ यू कैन आइर गेट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव और सिक्स out of it so in that case its sample space will be an element uh, with 1 2 and a list with the uh, with elements 1 2 6 that's it this will be its sample space then we can out of this sample space we can like uh, 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 have as much many event as we want we can create as many events as we want for example for event a we had Uh, creating an event by rolling an odd number outcome so what is the probability of getting an odd number which is 1 3 5 so that's its event space then we have event b rolling an event number even number that is what is the probability of getting an even number that is 2 4 6 so using the basic rules of probability we can calculate the probabilities of event a and b their intersection and their union so as i have already told you that in uh, in this case rolling a dice a sample space will consist of six elements with 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 getting value of 1 to to the very last of getting value of 6 so we will initialize a variable name sample space dice and then we uh, and we will we'll equate this value to a sample space a list of uh, numbers from 1 to 6 then we will also create uh, event a and event b Where we event is actually equal to the getting an odd number when you roll the dice. You what is the probability of getting a odd number? So in that case, the sample space or the event space will be one three five. In the similar way, we are going to create a event B dice in which the event space will be getting even number. So in our case, so we have two four six. Now. uh the basic formula as we have used earlier in while calculating the probability of getting a head and tail will applies here too we will uh, calculate the length of event a we will calculate the length of uh, event b then we will divide by the length of sample space which is in our case is 6 and the length of uh, getting an even uh, uh even number is actually 3 and the length of getting an odd number is also 3 so by this formula we can actually calculate the probability of event a occurring or probability of event b occurring now then we are going uh, once we have calculated that we can actually calculate what is the probability of event a and event b occurring simultaneously together so in that case we have there uh, this formula here probability of a dies multiplied by probability of b dies and again then we have another probability which is known as what is the probability of event a or even b occurring which is uh, again defined by addition rule which has probability a dies probability b dies minus uh, probability of a and b occurring together then we have a uh, probability of uh, complement like a complement what is the probability of event a not occurring that is equal to 1 minus probability of event a occurring so once you have calculated that let us just print those values by using this simple python statement where i have uh, input two input arguments to the python function to display the value in console or uh, output box so we have what is the probability of rolling an odd number so again is equal to 0.5 Uh, because we have 3 divided by 6 is equal to 0.5 then we the probability of an even number is 0.5 so what is the probability of getting an odd and even number these two probabilities will be multiplied by each other so we get a 0.25 so probability of rolling an odd or even number using addition rule so we have a probability of 0.75 and finally what is the probability of not getting an odd number which is equal to getting an even number which is 0.05 so that's it for today's lecture i hope this lecture has been helpful for you in terms of uh, uh, calculating probabilities by using python programming 
सो दैट्स इट फॉर नाउ एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल हिट द नोटिफिकेशन बाई लाइकन बटन बिकॉज आई विल बी पोस्टिंग वोर वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू स्टैटिस्टिक एनालिसिस दैट आर मोर कॉन्टेक्स मोर रिलेटेड टू द फील्ड ऑफ डेटा साइंस एंड डेटा एनालिसिस सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरेबिलिटी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मीन स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टैटिक्स एंड रिकेशन इन द अपकमिंग वीडियो सो स्टे ट्यून सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल and thank you for joining me